One of my favorite features in Interite Workspace is Capture. It's the little camera button I'm mousing over right here. Now, this button doesn't come on the toolbar automatically, but you can add it. If you don't have it, you can find it under the toolbox and go up to Capture. Or you can add it by clicking the down pointing arrow right here, choose Preference, and go to Customize Toolbar. These are the available tools. You can find the one you want and drag it to your main toolbar. When I click Capture, I'm given some options. I can grab a screen grab of a partial screen, and I get to pick and draw the, the rectangle myself. I can do freeform, which is basically really helpful if you're using the pen. You just trace around something. I can do the entire uh, window. That's the whole desktop. I seldom do this um, because the partial is much, much more um, usable. And then finally, I can do the page. So let's demonstrate the three that are highlighted right now. I'm going to close out of this and try to find something to capture. Let's say I um, am curious about using something from this particular website, Wikipedia, the Star Wars Wiki. And I'm interested in uh, doing a piece about this story right here about Greedo. So I go back over to the Capture tool. I bring it up, and this time I'm going to choose Partial. And I'm going to draw a rectangle around what I want. As you see, this then gets dropped right into the Interite workspace, into the first page, page one. And now I can annotate, I can highlight, I can use all my pen tools and uh, do different things to this and, and circle and draw and those like that. So anything you grab from the internet or any particular piece of software, maybe it was something like PowerPoint. Let's say you wanted to showcase how to use a particular um, piece of software. And so you go click Capture, do Partial, and you wanted to point out the buttons uh, right here and, and talk about them. These will be dropped into the first page of your Interite workspace for you to manipulate and draw on and so on. I also have like a, for example, a document camera. This document camera is the IPVO camera and it's shining on a little, um, in this case, a Le Lego minifig of Greedo. So if I wanted that into my um, Interite workspace, a real easy thing, click capture, do partial. I'm gonna draw a box around them and in comes Lego Greedo. Now, the thing is, Lego Greedo was sitting on the page crooked, but you can always kind of straighten them up. And if you wanted to, you could go and use the capture again, and this time use Freeform and trace around the edges so you get exactly what you want. I'm only going to do his head because I'm doing this with a mouse. But if you're using your pen on your Interite board, you can do this with some pretty good precision. And now there's Greedo captured, just the little head, and you could draw a little stick figure for his body, and so on. Let's say that I love this page now. This page is so um, useful that I want to continue drawing on it. I could use Capture one last time and do Page Capture. What this does is, if you see now, we have page two. Page one has all the pieces that we originally manipulated. See, these can all still move and be drawn on. Page two, everything I captured from page one is now part of the background. I can't do anything here. This is all free to draw over, and there are cases where you might want to do that. So take a look at the capture feature. It's an easy way to get relevant content into your Interite workspace and uh, make things exciting for your class. Enjoy.